on behalf of God's servant, our Father, Dr. CMD, the presiding pastor, and the apostle over this great commission to make us judge, I welcome you to the last Sunday in the month of July. Please let's celebrate Jesus and celebrate God's servant. Now, this morning, what is an altar? An altar is a place God chooses for himself to be worshipped. It's a platform for worship. Many of us think that this is the altar. No, this is not the altar. Into man. Into these nostrils. And became a living soul. That means the breath of God is what makes you a living altar. The whole testament altar is not a living altar although it was made from the head do you get it but the breath of god separates you from a altar that lives another so the breath of god makes you a living soul makes you a living altar so what is worship worship is altar and sacrifice he said, make an altar for me from head and sacrifice on it. So you're making an altar and the sacrifice is what is called your worship. And the sacrifice that is made on the altar. So what happens when you worship, when your worship is acceptable on the altar? He said, I will come and bless you. I will come and bless you. Now the question is, since he said that where he chose to be worshipped, we should make an altar where he chose to be worshipped. John chapter 4 verse 21 to 20. John 21 to 24. John chapter 4 verse 21 to 24. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, that the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at jerusalem worship the father ye worship ye know you worship you know not what we know what we worship for salvation is of the jews but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth for the father seeketh such to worship him God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in his spirit and his truth. Now, he said he will choose a place for you where he will worship him. And this John is telling us that where you worship me is beyond the tabernacle. The place I have chosen to worship is the spirit. Now, Please come. This is head. He made man in his own image from the head. That means he was building, he didn't create you just as human. He built an altar for himself. He built an altar for himself. He now chose where to worship him in spirit. So you are the altar. Your spirit is a place of worship. The sacrifice is on your altar. And in Romans chapter 12, he said, I beseech you, brethren, by the message of God, that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice only and acceptable your bodies is presented on as worship as acceptable service on the altar this is not the altar you are the altar your worship is a sacrifice on the altar. It's beyond just coming to church. 
his altar going to a place of altar. Please go and sit down. Let's put the hands together for him. It's beyond that. I will choose a place and I will come. No wonder people are not blessed. Because they don't even know where God, where divinity and humanity meets. They don't even know. And when you don't know where the dispatch rider or delivery man is taking it to, you don't know where to take your product. He's bringing it to the Maker's Church. You are at Allah Bole shouting. Allah, where is it? Come on. He has dispatched it. But you are not in the place of delivery. Because it have, you have not taken delivery of it, does not mean you have not dispatched it. Our understanding of the halter. Listen. You are not afraid of any halter. Ah, you want to raise altar against altar. Altar will swallow altar. Do you know why you are afraid? Because you don't know that even you they offer sacrifice on you daily. <laughs> Somebody wants to go and offer sacrifice on one altar against me. When me myself I'm Rumole. A me pepe for me, me altar myself. Even me, people offer sacrifice on me. Ah! When the Bible said, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. It's not giving you scripture of war. It's telling you a reality about yourself. There's no how weapon can form against weapon can prosper. No! And that's why every altar that is not the altar of God was bow. Do you know why you are bowing before altars? You don't know that you are one. This morning, you are going to present yourself as sacrifice. I said, this living sacrifice, I am your worship. Listen, he said, I what? I am your worship. I am not going to worship. I am not about. It's not about what you do. It's about who you are. God is not interested in what you do. He's interested. Now, the Old Testament covenant is about what you do. It's about the works. The New Covenant is about who you become. It's not, it's not, it's not about the Maker's Church. It's about you. I said in the first service, the Maker's Church is not yet the Maker's Church because you are not yet fulfilling what you're supposed to do. Every error you see in Maker's Church is not the error of God. It's the error of man. Men are not, are not yet taking their place. You are the altar. You are the altar. Somebody is beautifying this altar. And he thinks he's beautifying his church. No. You are beautifying yourself. Because this is a symbol of who you are. This is just a physical representation of who you are. So beautifying this is beautifying yourself. Because you are the altar. Sacrifices go all daily on you. So if you don't offer sacrifice on your altar daily, then you are not worshipping God. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 28 and 29. Please let me display it. I'm almost rounding off this message. We want to do... See... This morning, altars will bow before altars. <laughs> altars of your father's house. Altars of territory that have been intimidating you before. You will tell them, I didn't know I was altar before. I have come. They must bow. They brought, Dag uh, they brought the Ark of Covenant before Dagon. Dagon bow. Because it's not about the image. It's about altar. It's about altar. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 28. Hebrews 20, 12, 28. 
am i right please go to 28 yeah wherefore we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved ah let us have grace whereby we may serve god acceptably with reverence and godly fear verse 29 verse 29 next verse oh my god let's take this together one to go for our god is a consumer now what's the relationship between 29 and 28 he said let us serve god what is the symbol of acceptance or sacrifice fire will consume it fire will consume it so when you serve god acceptably the consuming fire comes upon you then it's an acceptable worship it's an acceptable worship it consumes it, it takes over it it takes over it say i am the altar i am the sacrifice can you see your spirit the altar he said present your bodies as a sacrifice so who is the altar you who is the sacrifice you so it's about you your worship is about you it's not about the place it's about you now listen if you are not acceptable your offerings and sacrifices will not be acceptable what did i say if you are not accepted he came was not acceptable it was not his offering that was not acceptable because he was not acceptable his offering is not acceptable it's about you it's not about what you do it's not about what you bring it's about what you know it's about you if you are not acceptable the person that we don't want in the city is singing soprano who will back him up you must be acceptable before god before your service your sacrifice your see if you are not acceptable your offering is not acceptable if you like give everything so the first thing is to what be acceptable it's about you it's not about the church it's not about the offerings because you are the sacrifice yourself you are sacrificing yourself on yourself <laughs> because you are the combination of heart and the spirit what does that mean you are formed from the heart he breathed into you god himself is not a combination of head and spirit god is spirit but you are a combination of head and spirit that means you function on head you function in the spirit ah you don't understand who you are that's why you're afraid of everybody he said there's no temptation that will happen to you that has not happened to others but we have one assurance <laughs> <laughs> that's going to make a way why because i am the altar and the sacrifice <laughs> somebody is planning to go to kidnap me say don't allow you to sacrifice on that altar if you sacrifice on the altar you are going to have problem so they are waiting on my way to sacrifice to, to kidnap me so i won't sacrifice on the altar they have forgotten i don't need to live where i am before i sacrifice i am the altar and the sacrifice so they are still waiting and the sacrifice is done <laughs> he said i am resurrection and life i am the resurrection and the life have you seen that too if is the resurrection and the life there's no need for resurrection if he is the life there's only no for resurrection because there's no death what he's speaking about is speaking about mortality and immortality embedded in one vessel i am mortal i am spirit <laughs> i 
after today, God will consume your sacrifice. And your worship will be acceptable unto him. So you are presenting yourself before God. That's what you do. You must be acceptable. You must be what? Acceptable. He said, he said I beseech you, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable for God. For this is your reasonable service. Now, why is he acceptable? Because he has a place he has chosen for the altar to be built and for him to worship. So if you worship in a place that it is not built, that you not choose, it's not acceptable. So acceptable worship and service is not outside you. It's you. If you are men, please us. And I service, I service us. I pity you. You are to be serviced. Because the acceptance you are looking for is here, not there. So, it's not a good business. I want to do in such a way that I can be acceptable before you. Meanwhile, the acceptance of service is not from pastor. The acceptance of service is not from leaders. It's not from church. Acceptance is looking for acceptance. What an error. So when you don't worship, you say, you will not worship on this mountain again, God. No, 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 no. The Father seeks such a worship him. Those that worship him in spirit and in truth. Sacrificing themselves daily on that altar. Wow. I have just one assignment this morning. I want us to present ourselves to him. Lord, I am the altar. I am the sacrifice. Saxophonist, please come. Please stand up. That song, you will play it and play it and say, as lead us as, as long as, 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 the fire must consume this sacrifice this morning. The fire must consume this sacrifice this morning. I want you to be on your feet, sir. Present yourself to him. Present yourself to him. I have more than a song. I'm not singing. I'm not just singing. I have more than a song today. I want you to present yourself to him. Please present yourself to him. Lift your hands to him. You must be accepted. You must be acceptable and accepted. Ay, 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 I have mother and son. Today I bring my son. I bring my son. I bring my son. I am your word. I see this living Are you presenting yourself to him this morning? 
Are you presenting yourself? Present yourself to him. You are the sacrifice. You are the worship. The church is not the worship. You are the worship. Present yourself before him. I am Boba. This living sacrifice I am your worship This living sacrifice Present yourself to him Present yourself to him Receive, receive, receive this Look at me, 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 look at me. He said to Abraham, He said, I will bless you. And what? Make you a blessing. He said, I will what? Bless you, make it up. What? God was telling Abraham that, listen, my blessing is not an achievement of what you have. My blessing is making you a blessing. So you are not going to be blessed. You are a blessing going to manifest. You are, now, listen, if you don't understand that, he said, wherever the soul of your feet shall tread or shall be on, he's not commanding them. He's telling them they are possession themselves. Your presence is possession. If you are there, you are taking over. That's what they say. It's not about there, it's about you. It's not about going to succeed. Success is who you are. You are going to man if you are formed in his image and you carry his DNA and the breath of God is in you. What are you looking for outside who you are? Ah, what? Now, he said, surely there's an hair. But the expectations of the righteous, now, the expectations are different. Our expectation is what we think is that we are expecting something to happen. What the, no, 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 no. The expectation of the righteous that he's talking about is that the righteous know that whatever he gets will be happen. Do you understand? Because God knows that there are factors on earth that will not allow some things to happen. But if we depend on those factors, definitely, even human error can come. But that's not what he's saying. He was so sure that your expectation shall not be cut off because there is no expectation anywhere. You are the one that you're expecting. The earnest expectation of the Creator waited for the manifestation of the God. Now, they are expecting you, you are expecting something. They are expecting you, you are expecting something. This country can never be good until the expectation of the righteous is not cut off. The righteous are sitting down in churches and they are not doing anything. What are you expecting to happen? When you are the one waiting to happen. When you are the one. Now, when we don't understand who we are, listen, if you leave this sanctuary now, and tomorrow they come here for party and they begin to put table and different singers begin to sing and they begin to drink wine or gogoro and everything here and in the evening we clean the place up and we gather for service and the presence of God come back now who is happening? Who is happening? Who is happening? 
is not the church you are happening wherever you are he said where two or three are gathered there have he's not talking about i will come down he's talking that i am there already that's what he said so you get away nothing is working you tell them don't worry it will work now because the work has come jesus you know you are not expecting promotion you are promotion yourself because my presence in this organization will make things to work in this organization that even the person that holds the organization will be promoted by my presence now it's an error to wait for man to promote you they can't lift you above their head the limitation if the man is going to lift you with his hands he will leave you to the limit of his hand. And if he lifts you above himself, you will be tired. But listen, you are lifting yourself. People should succeed because you are there. People should make it because you are present in their life. People should know God because you are around. That's why, but this will not be possible if you are not acceptable. Because if you are not acceptable, Anything about you is not accepted. I want you to present yourself. Lord, I ask for the forgiveness of sin. <laughs> he said, let's lay aside the weight and the sin that easily beset us. What is important is your being accepted. Ah, karaba shantaraba. It's your being accepted. If you are seven, he said, if your way please the Lord, even your enemy will be at peace with you. It's not setting any discord. It's because you are acceptable to God. God. How will you deny somebody that God has accepted? I want you to lift your hands to heaven. I'm more than a son. I bring myself, I bring myself, I bring myself. I bring myself, I bring myself, I bring myself. I bring myself. I am the heart and the sacrifice. I got a giant. Lift your voice, lift your voice. Oh, oh. oh my God. Yes, it's more than a song. It's more than a song. This is more than a song. This is more than a song. This is more than a song. Oh no, it's about me. It's not about the song. It's about me. It's about me. It's not about the song. It's not about the song. It's not about the song. Present yourself to him, present yourself, present yourself to him, present yourself to him, give yourself to him, give yourself to him. Hallelujah. Look at me. Elijah's encounter with the prophet of Baha. He said, Let's see the God that will answer my fire. 
he was speaking for my understanding the prophet of i have an understanding we have what to do for god to answer elijah was telling them i don't have anything to do i am the done <laughs> i am the done i'm the done god go myself no wonder he said they should be pouring water on the altar that's supposed to be consumed by fire it's because it's not about the fire ah, it's about me he said they should keep pouring water it's not enough pour water pour water pour water he understand elijah did not call god to answer by fire he answered god as in elijah because it was acceptable was a god is a consuming fire so wherever i get to that is why i represent him i represent him now now see the limitation of man the moment elijah performed that and left he forgot who he is he forgot who he is is it jezebel now threaten him he's not because ah, somebody that caught fire now what happened he forgot who he is and he started running no wonder you are running you don't know who you are how will you get to an organization and you are afraid they will fire you ah 2008 where i met my wife I was, I was I was being interviewed to be the manager relationship manager in Lagos and the boss asked me how soon can we replace him I said you can't replace me he said no I'm not saying you will sack you as in if you resign and you leave how soon can we get somebody I said sir I understand what you're saying you can't replace me it's me that I've come to work here not another person I can't be replaced I came here to manifest myself and there are no true Wali Agolas any other person you employ has come to manifest himself you can't you will miss me because it is me how can you replace me that means the moment i leave you are no longer relevant in your life god forbid if i leave you today in the maker's church i will still be relevant except i did not pass through here it's an understanding i will never forget who i am that's why some people live and they are forgotten. They never because they did not they did not live. They live in the consciousness of another person's understanding. Ah. So with that understanding, you begin to manifest. But well, listen, the only problem is if you are not accepted. There's nothing you do that will be accepted. What is the definition of favor? Favor is defined is a man that is accepted by God that everyone accepts him. Favor, a man that is favored is someone that is accepted by God. God cannot accept you and man reject you. So, choose your battle wisely. Who do you want to accept you, man or God? Eliab was accepted by Samuel. God said, I've rejected him. David was, was, was in the wilderness somewhere. Rejected by man. But was accepted by God. There's someone under the sound of my voice. This week, wherever you have been rejected, you'll be accepted in the name of Jesus. I say you'll be accepted in the name of Jesus. I say you'll be accepted in the name of Jesus. We struggle in relationship because you. <laughs> but please, we. I am my wife's husband. I am a husband. Do you get it? I am a husband. Me, I am a husband. I am now thinking another man will snatch her from me. I am a husband. As in, it's me, the a husband. I am not a tenant. That thought of somebody taking her from me does not exist anywhere. If I meet a man on her, I said, "Stand up. You see your wife. Get out." Uh, stranger, uh, wait, wait. Listen. 
those of you that lose your husband or your wife to another person you are the one that loses because when he leaves you you go and meet the person the consciousness of my husband and my wife from the beginning and that's why we have problem in the world because we have lost next sunday you are going to believe it intelligent love there's an intelligence in love and if you miss it you will be an unintelligent lover there's an intelligence in love so the bible says that we should deal with women according to knowledge that knowledge that is talking about deal with women according to intelligence you know our weakness this is my friend i know his weakness loving him intelligently means is that not empowering his weakness to cause damage for me so i'm loving him intelligently i know whatever i give him will spoil so should i give him something no that's love intelligently it's about you nobody is bad you are looking at people from the bad high <laughs> it's about you it's about you the same person you call devil is the same person somebody is living with and they are living fine it's not about him it's about you i've come to make a difference in your life you have come to make a difference in my life if you move without understanding your weakness will be my reason for being in your life not the reason to leave you i've always said to you if you come to the maker's church this is not okay it has not been okay for a very long time we did not see it do you know why god allowed you to see it so you can fix it every altar standing before you every idol altar of idol altar race family altars every god they are serving in your family every territorial altar environmental spirit and altars working against your advancement your marriage your business or career this morning i pull them down in the name of jesus i pull them down in the name of jesus you are going to pray that prayer two more times but listen, listen to the second one whenever we are praying just take that song and listen this is the second one do you know the bible said touch not my anointed and uh, now that word touch not my anointed was not for the prophets no that word touch not my anointed was not for the prophet he was talking about the children of israel he said touch not my anointed he now spoke about the prophet and do my prophets no harm that is for the prophets it's not the touch of anointing is not just for the prophets it's the children of israel that means you are a you carry anointing of touch not you are not supposed to be touched do you know why they are touching you the devil the enemy comes to steal and what did he steal he steal away your understanding what is that in english he, 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 he steals away your understanding because the devil bewitched you and took away your understanding he said the enemy going to steal now he can't kill you without stealing so when you lose your identity and your consciousness then you rush in he knows ah uh -uh, if the devil is that powerful he should have killed you and you are still living he saw you are touch not not about prophet the second prayer i'm going to say lord i activate the touch not anointing i activate the touch not i became untouched <laughs> Listen to this. Genesis chapter 7 verse 17. 
Give me Genesis 7, 7 verse 17. Please be fast. Or if you are there, you can help me to read it. Genesis chapter 7 verse 17. Genesis. Oh, please be fast. I don't have time. My time is gone. Oh, you have to take the communion now. Oh my God. Now, let's take this together. Look at the screen. Look at the screen. One, two, go. And the flood was 40 days upon the head. Ah. Oh my God. Oh yeah, read it from your Bible. Somebody should read it. Oh yeah, read it, Pastor Smith. And what? Genesis 7 and verse 17. The and the flood was 40 days upon the earth. Uh -huh. And the waters increased. Uh -huh. And bare up the ark. Uh -huh. And it was lifted up above the earth. Listen. The same water that was killing people. Bear the whole ark of Noah hope you don't get that <laughs> because Noah and his family they are in the ark the same water that are killing people the Bible says for 40 days the water and the water increase instead of your altar to overflow the ark it bear it up do you know what that means anybody can be poor in Nigeria <laughs> hey! anything can happen to anyone but listen in the same thing that they are complaining about is what me and my family will have testimony. You don't get that. I prophesy, pray for someone here in the name of in this same economy, in this same economy, in this same challenge, you will have your testimony in the name of Jesus. I say you have your testimony in the name of Jesus. The same water. The same water. Somebody is complaining that dollar is high. There is no fuel. Hey, the fuel is going high because God is giving you a plan of a filling station. Yes, 